First, click on SD Formatter, select our SD card and format. This will take few seconds. After that, open Win32 Imager, select the good device, choose your file, your image file. For us, it's RetroPy 3.6, and click Write. This will take 5 to 10 minutes to copy the file into the SD card. We just need to put the SD card into the Raspberry Pi and plug the Raspberry Pi. So for the first boot, you just leave it, okay? Just wait a few seconds and you will get RetroPi. For this tutorial, we will use the keyboard. So what I did, I select up, down, left, right, start, select, A, B, X, Y, and after that, I don't need the rest, so I just hold on the Y, because it's the last one I used, until the end, and I just click OK. After that, you arrive on the menu, we will go to RetroPie. In RetroPie, we select Raspberry Pi configuration to Raspberry Pi config and we, sell, we select the first option expand file system it will be pretty easy so click OK when you are done just go on finish and click yes to reboot now So now we're going back to RetroPy, but we will select RetroPy Setup. So we will choose the fourth, so Experimental Package, click OK, and we will go down until we find Kodi, and just click OK or Enter. So this will take a few minutes to install and download all the Kodi system file. After that you just click cancel, cancel again, and you will need to restart your Raspberry Pi. So what you can do is just click start, go on quit, and go on quit emulation, just say yes. What I did just type exit to exit the, this menu and we will restart the emulation system. Now we can go on ports. So ports is all our stuff and we can see Kodi now is installed and ready to go. So we will launch it for the first time and as you can see Kodi it's working. Thank you very much guys. See you next week on the Frog Tech for a new episode.